right, guys. Kind of update on Roger. We're heading down to pick him up. He was there for two weeks. Um, we're going to pick him up. He's doing really good, but I'm going to let him explain a lot of that to you on the way back. Hopefully he will. Hopefully it'll feel like it. If he doesn't, then I'll feel again. But anyway. I'm sure it'll feel like it. And now, look what we got. It's me. It's, that's Jake's better half, girlfriend, <laughs> friend. Half. I'm not really sure what to do with that. Better but half. Better half. Better half. Better, better <laughs> half. Better half. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely, she remembers to do things, so. I'll give that to her. So that's definitely better. I remember uh, times and dates, you know. Yeah, stuff like that. But I can't say much about Jake because I don't remember a whole lot either. So <laughs> I guess that's probably one of the reasons why. I, well, anyway, I'll explain that in another video. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. So just wanted to give you an update. We're heading down there to pick him up, and uh, we'll pick it up down there. All right, guys. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we're here. All this. Pick up Roger. Hey. Hey, remember me? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Doing good. Hey. Hey, we're here. Ah. Oh, here we're going again, going to do it again. Ah. Here we go. Hi. Hey. hey. There she is. Hey. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Woo. Now, what do we do to pick up somebody here? Yeah, I'm going in here to pick up. Well, yeah, I think so. Oh, did you call Roger? No, it's either he's over here or over there. Oh, he didn't, he, uh, he didn't say. If he's over here, you can stay right there. Okay, yeah. I mean, this is where we let him out at. Okay. Okay, he's coming out of here again. Yeah, so unless they transport him, okay. you better say hello again up close. Hey, I got my hair done this time. You got your hair done this time. <laughs> she looked good last time, if you remember, guys. I wasn't here last time. No. No. No? No, you weren't here yet. What? So, what are we doing? So, how do we pick him up? We uh, just... They call y'all to come get him. Uh-huh. Okay, well, he'll be out of here. And then y'all just wrap. Back around and pick them up. In there? Uh huh. Right here. Okay, so we drive, come back in here? No, go this way. Go that way. Come down and I'm going to come through that Yeah, and pick them up right here. Okay. Got that? Got that. All right. She got that. All right, so have you text Roger or talked to him or anything? Not yet. Not yet. Well, let's go ahead and text him, tell him we're here. Please. Let's see. I just, I was so excited. I just got out without my phone. Right, I'm gonna call Jake real quick and let him know too that we're here. I just texted him. Oh, Roger? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'll check you out in a minute as soon as he gets out. You got a mask? Oh, you got no mask. See, you got no mask. Okay, never mind. You, you do or don't? Okay. Oh, she's it. She's it. Okay, she's gonna do it. Never mind. I gotta go pee. <laughs> Patient in here? Uh-huh. My, my brother, Roger Staten. Hmm? Put the mask on. Oh, Take yeah. Take my pitch. <laughs> <laughs> me in you heard that, didn't you? You didn't have no mask on. Take your pitch. Okay. You got it on wrong. It's okay. I got it on you wrong. You got it on, though. Come on, come on. Okay. You got it on. Okay. No fever 24 hours? No, I ain't got no fever. No COVID symptoms? 965. I don't even know what COVID symptoms No COVID appendix here? They coughing? Oh, no. Loss of taste? No. I got all my taste. I ain't okay. got no fever. Sit right there. Go there. I love food. Go that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it at? No right. No right. right there. Right there. <laughs> all right, guys. I ain't taking you in here. I can't tell you how much I despise these things. I get sick. I get dizzy. Plus, I don't like being told I got to do it. But we are in cancer, so. I get it, <clears throat> but I don't like them. Woo, let me get out of here. It's a beautiful place. Again, this is Methodist, Methodist West Cancer Treatment Center. 
some of the best in the nation. Whew. I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. I know that's right. I'm telling you. Oh. That's how I, feel. I bet you do, man. All day long. Oh, yeah, you got to be feeling it all day. Look at that. Where's that mask? All day. Say hi. All day. All day. All day. Can you guys? I can't do this. I can't, I can't wear it for more than a minute. I get sick. Get dizzy. All the above. All the above. <laughs> I gotta get some air. Whew. But like I was saying, Memphis is one of the. You got St. Jude here. You got Baptist. Baptist Memorial Hospital, which is the one that Elvis went to all the time, and he also, of course, he went there for his autopsy. But yeah, you got St. Jude. What other hospitals we got here in Memphis besides, that are like famous and regional one? Is the, um, nope. It's called the Trauma Center. That's the, the regional one. One for the Trauma Center and stuff okay. like that. St. Jude. St. Jude. Oh, La Bonner. Yeah, I forgot about La Bonner. Yeah, I said Baptist. Uh, uh, St. Francis. Francis. That's right. Got St. Francis. And That's huge. Yeah. Uh, what's that North? Uh, Methodist at the what is the north? Off on the bypass. Huh. Like off on the bypass tight mm -hmm. north. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what's be. But Memphis is a major medical center. Wouldn't say it's really good for much else, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Just, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Keeping it real. <laughs> Keeping it real. But it's home to people, so it's their home. It's a good place. That's just the way it is. What happened to the building? That's the um, that's the old uh, hospital. That's old what? Old uh, Methodist University. Uh, that's the old Methodist. This the new one. Oh, okay. That's, look at that thing. This thing's beautiful, guys. Shore Tower. They've done a masterful job with my brother. Huh? Cancer Institute right here. It's what? Cancer Institute. Cancer Institute, yeah. Shore Tower. Methodist West Cancer. Oh, is that what no, it is? this is the, is, uh, is the uh, Transplant Institute. Transplant? Uh-huh. Where uh -huh. they do kidney, kidney transplant, transplant, liver transplant. Liver. Oh, and, they, wow. and they also do they chemo do and all chemo that stuff like that. They do um, surgery, radiology, surgery. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a special place. They've done an amazing job with my brother. They're talking about 95. Well, I'll just let him tell you. But yeah, that's the. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I just I can't. This is exactly on me. But I guess they're tearing that down now. Yes, the old hospital. Old hospital. That's now the, the old major. Are they gonna build anything else there, Methodist or? We know that's what they're gonna do. Parking out of it. <laughs> probably, probably the you know, best. Uh -huh. Yep. All right, guys. Roger gets so back out. I'll holler at you. All right. It's noisy. Sorry about the noise, guys. Well, let me get my mask on. Oh, sorry. All right. Let's see. I don't know. Let's go see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see him. Yeah, we're supposed to... I'm supposed to be picking up my brother, Roger Staten. They said he was down here. Where's he been? He's down from the hospital? Yeah, from... Over there. From the, oh, where? Emergency? No, Methodist. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, you can go with that good child from Shore. I know. Yeah, usually that's that's where we picked him up. And now they just said no. He just... What floor is he on? I don't know. He's supposed you know, to be down I, here. What room is he? I don't know any of that. <clears throat> Roger. Staten, S T A T. Okay, so he was, he was in patient, or what? He's been he's 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 been here for two weeks, okay. and now he's 
Uh huh. S T A T O N. Right. We just talked to him. Said he was downstairs. He was at the. He was here waiting. We were over there. We went in. The lady said, "No, he's over here." So I'm just as confused as everybody. That's where we. That's where we were to pick him up. And the lady in there said, "No, he's over there." So you went down there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Same place we let him out. Same place. Whew, how do you guys stand this? Whew. You saw him what? He's still in the room. That's what I'm showing. He just texts. There he is right there. Roger Staten, right? Yes, ma'am. He's still in the room. Do you want to go to the room? Uh, I can. But he said he was already down here. He texted us that he was down here. He's not down here. Okay. All right, let me go out. He ain't got no dish no dish Okay, let me run out there because he sent the text to the other person. Let me talk to that, and then if not, I'll go. I'll, I'll come on back in and go up there. Okay. Can I help you? Thank you. Okay. We lost my brother, and I'm not sure what's going on. Seems like we've lost him. Well, now wait a minute. Seriously? That me. I don't know. Get that. I don't know what's going on, folks. I don't know. All right, I'll get back with you. All right. We don't know where he's at. We don't know what he's doing. We ain't got a clue. We're just hoping that he comes out here. Um, yeah, don't know. Can't seem to find him. I guess he's in his room. He said he was, I'm sorry about the noise, man. It's ridiculous. But they are tearing a building down. That one. As I showed you before. So, you know, it is what it is. So, hopefully we will see him soon. I'll catch you in a second. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. I guess he's at the emergency entrance. <laughs> Three hours later. No. Yeah. So we're gonna try this. Do this little jog across again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There he is. We yeah. found him. I guess. Okay. We found him. There we go. Hey, there he is. Huh? I thought blind people couldn't use a handicap sticker. He used it, not me. There we go. Oh, Dougal, 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 Helicopter. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I got to, I got to see the tail end of it a couple times. Uh, one time, I one time. But yeah, every, when it came in, I left. Yeah. Oh wow. Now as it can be. Yeah, it's always in the middle of the night too. Oh, I'll, I did. I really felt sorry for him because he got to ride that thing. That's a catastrophic injury. All right, guys. We've been talking to Roger. He's gonna explain a little bit what's going on. And uh, I know all you guys have been praying for him and, and uh, want, wanted me to get back with you and let you know what's going on and been waiting for this video. So let's have it, Roger. What's, okay. going, what's going on with you? Okay, first of all, thank you for the prayers. If you don't smile, you don't need to know me because thank you anyway. Uh, the, I have acute myeloid leukemia. Acute myeloid leukemia comes in three stages. Favorable, intermediate, and critical. My 
it's like it's, in some category, category came back favorable, which is the easiest of all to be treated. Uh -huh. So they put me on uh, MT, which is a liquid uh, chemo drip for five days. And they put me on Enaclax after that, which is a pill. You take 404, 100 milligram pills at a time uh, every day for 21 days. Oh, sorry, guys. Then you're off for two weeks. They check your blood levels, see how things are going. You should go back on it. And the goal, that's why it's favorable, and I seem to be doing very well right now, is uh, in, in six months to have me in remission. Good. Yeah. I just got it. Once they get in, he's, he's, his, his exact words was 95% chance in six months you'll be in remission. Woo! So. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, and then they'll just. Follow up appointments, you know, make sure you keep I have to go do blood work, make sure all the, the levels are staying normal like they should be, nothing's going up or down or mm -hmm. anything funny happening. Uh, and just, yeah, so watch, what, watch me. So, when are you going back? We're going, we do an hour going back Monday, November 15th, to the bone biopsy uh, so they can see how well the uh, responded and responding. Uh -huh. to the chemotherapy. So November 15th is Monday. next Monday? Uh -huh. Okay. They'll be there at 8.30 in the morning. They'll, oh, do, they'll do a bone biopsy. They'll, then they'll run a you know, test out it. They'll run another DNA panel. Uh -huh. and they'll see how how well uh, I reacted to the chemotherapy. Uh-huh. No, no therapy. So are you going to have to keep taking no. chemo? Or? No. Uh, at the end of six months, if I'm in remission, that's it. No, I mean, but... From now on, from now yeah. to no, from, I'll be yeah. I'll, you'll go on two weeks, off two weeks, on two weeks, off two weeks. I think right for, okay. for six. So you have to go back to Memphis every time. No, we go to Jackson, at Kirk, at Kirkland's candle store, at Kirkland's. Yeah, Kirk, the candle store. Yeah. <laughs> you guys who don't know Kirkland's, actually the, the the candle store, the guy's wife got cancer, and he started a cancer center. Uh, they should have Kirkland's in the mall. They have a mall. They have goes to the mall anymore. Yeah. Because they have those Kirkland's in the malls. It's exotic. It's almost like a, what's that called? A store where they had all the exotic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The clothes. But it's, it's like that. That's where they, they're very wealthy, very generous family in Jackson. Yeah. It's right. His wife got cancer, so they opened the Kirkland Cancer Center. Yeah. So that, I was talking to my nephew, and I said something about, you know, I go, Kirkland's. He goes, isn't that the place that sells candles? <laughs> I said, yeah, they used to, they, they, uh, they still can't let us not open up the cancer center so they can make a little extra money and, and get out of the malls and not have to work on Sundays anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys didn't know Kirkland started in Jackson, Tennessee. Yep. And um, he actually sold the franchise. Did he sell it? He sold Kirkland. Yeah, that's how he got his all his money. I mean, Kirkland's made oh, a lot of money, too. But he, yeah. But he also sold it, and now... It's owned by you know a big corporation, but uh, it actually started in Jackson, Tennessee. Another tidbit is uh, uh, what's, what's the name of that? Ah, never mind. I guess I, I won't tell you. I had it, then I lost it. But anyway, so you're going to be in Kirkland for six months. No, I'm just, well, I have to go to Kirkland's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for two weeks, uh -huh. and then they'll, they'll draw blood. Check blood levels. Oh, so you're not taking chemo with it? I take the chemo at home, the pills. Oh, yeah. the pills, okay. Yeah, uh, when, uh, when, the, when the therapy of the pills, Metaplex, when that's up after the 21 days, then I go two and a half, two and a half weeks with no chemo at all. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and they test everything, blood, see where I am. And if I have to have, go back on the Benetine, uh, which is the liquid chemo, then I can do that in Jackson instead of having to come back to, to Memphis. Okay. Because they, but they were the type of chemo they put. The type, there's some chemo that they you got to use a port or a pick line because uh, it's too hard on, on the veins. You know, just like a normal uh -huh. transfusion type deal. Yeah. It's too rough on the veins. But my, that stuff I'm getting is not. Okay. And it doesn't. It, it, I can't. No side effects for me. It did not make me sick. Didn't make me nausea. I can't tell. I'm, Told I if it had been for the pain for my foot and the hip and everything, I'd have never even known I had cancer. Wow. 
That's amazing. Yeah. And if you live in this area and you do uh, unfortunately get struck with something like this, talk to them about sending you to Memphis, Methodist in Jackson, in Memphis, I mean, the University Hospital, the Oncological. They are some, that is the absolutely the best place in the world to go. Absolutely the best. Some of the finest doctors and staff, nurses I've ever been around. Wow. Yeah. Saw you, your wife goes down there also, right? Yeah, she sees Dr. Henry. She's a, yeah, different section. Yeah, she goes down too. Same hospital? Yeah, same hospital. Uh, which we've already explained about Saudi. Yeah. And uh, I've been waiting for Roger to get back. I want to kind of like do a little sit down and talk with Saudi also, so hopefully she will. Gotta wear uh, a mask. Huh? Gotta wear a mask. Gotta wear a mask, which you know I hate. But I will do it for her. Oh, I had I had orders of N95 masks for me. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. To be around Saudi? To be around anybody. Oh, wow. So I'm going back to work, so. You are? Yep. So you got to wear a mask? And that, yeah, I don't know. There you go. Anything else, Roger? No. No? That's it? Oh, that's not, guess these guys brought a car down here to pick me up, and it's on empty. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on empty when we got there. It's on empty now. But it's now. Not even 20 miles out of Memphis, it's not empty. <laughs> it was at least 10. <laughs> you can tell this is going to be a fun ride. Already has. There's some things Roger's already said now we couldn't put out a camera uh, just for privacy's sake, but it's been fun. My customers. He cusses too much. And he actually hadn't said a cuss word yet. So, uh, Very proud. But at the. Off camera? No. No? Off camera? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, maybe he did say it. Maybe so I'm used to it. Oh, maybe so. You're so desensitized. I'm desensitized. Oh, God. Makes sense. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end this one here. It's been a good video. Uh, unless something drastic happens, you know, Roger, I I'm not even going to go there. We're going to leave Well, alone. if we have to get out and push the car to the gas station, we'll have Mark film that. <laughs> I can film the while y'all pull it. Yeah, see, I'm the vlogger. She's gonna push because she's the one that hit the gas coming down here. So. Hey, I got the gas that I have. I only have the gas. That's all she said. She didn't say she needed more gas. She didn't tell me she needed more gas. She just did her thing, which was cool. I mean, I, I, I thought told we had enough to get out. I thought we had enough to get out of Memphis. We did. We did. <laughs> I don't have to get the drink. We'll get past Germantown. <laughs> well, you said 20 would get us there and back. Well, I didn't know. I had fifteen. I mean, I got as close as like. Oh, see, point. see, that's, that's the problem. But five more dollars, we'd make it to Jackson. Yeah. Had to have that. Another fifteen only dollars outside of Memphis. This is gonna be fun, guys. We're gonna cut it, and uh, like I said, if there's anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. And uh, otherwise, man, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for praying for him. Um, I love you guys so much, man. Thank you so much for my brother. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.